So what I've been able to do here is to change the settings for um, the D4 preset on the Nectar uh, Pacer and switch them over to um, <clears throat> A1. So I've saved the settings from D4 and moved them over to, to A1. And I'm going to show you uh, how, to, how to do that. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just hold down the preset button and this flashes for me. Then I switch the uh, preset over to, uh, get this and move it to save. And then hit store. And then I move the preset over to the place that I want to save my new preset to. Right now I have this able, called Live 2. I'm going to change the, the title for that as well. And then just hit enter. And then that's saved. So we have these identical Ableton 1, Ableton 2. And I'm going to continue to do, to do that for the other sequences. So I go back. Maybe go back, hit my button again. back to D4, hit D4, go to save, store, I'm going to go back again to Ableton, this time this is my Live 3 set, and hit enter. And then one more time, I'm going to go to my D4 preset, hit save, hit store, this time going back to my A4 setting, and then I'm going to dump that there. Okay, so if we look at this uh, D4 channel that uh, already is a, is a preset within the, the Nectar, I've, I've only changed the name of it to Ableton, but the everything else is the same. We see that we have the, the track here that illuminates, uh, brings us up different options that you see down below there, solo, mute, uh, record arm, and so forth. And same thing with uh, with the um, <clears throat> the playhead presets that we get here for playing and skipping and all that kind of stuff. Um, that's going to be retained as we copy this over uh, to the to the other channel. Um, the thing that I want to look at right now is that um, these values that we see here. So we um, when I press number one, they get channel uh, CC ninety one, ninety two, ninety three, ninety four, ninety five. And then it's going to go back to 01 for this. Um, this Right now, this is the way that we have also on channels A1, A2, A3, and A4. I'm going to go ahead and turn this turn this off. So we see here a maximum value of, um, of 95. This is the, the highest channel that we have here, and 01 down there at the bottom. So now I'm going to switch back to the channels that we've created. This is uh, channel A1. And we see that these are the same values, right? 91, 92. 93 and so forth. Um, that's something that we that we don't want to have. That's kind of defeats the whole purpose of what we've done. Um, sending these same CC values uh, to the to to the um, to Ableton while we're while we're on the fly while we're, while we're uh, doing our live thing. So I want to change those values. So when we're here at D4, we see that the uh, the value for the Pedal 5 is is CC95 and it gives the value of 127 when it's on and turns back off at, at 0. Okay, so if we go back to our uh, A4, A, A1 that we've created here, this pedal has the same value right now. All of these pedals have the same value as on D4 at the moment, and we want to, want to change that. So what we do is we switch this to Control. See, so yeah, I switch the encoder to, to control. I'm going to say enter, and then it's going to ask what switch I want. I actually want switch one. Switch this over to CC, press enter, and then I can put in a, a new value. So no longer uh, 91, but we're going to switch it up to 96. This is where that left off. Okay. Uh, next, we hit the preset button again to kind of reset everything. And when we hit A1 now, we see it comes up to 96, which is what we want. Cool. All right, so we're going to turn that off. Uh, good. Go over here to 
control again, hit enter, new switch, then we're going to do two, go to CC, this time we're changing this to 97, and enter. Hit the preset button again, back to control, enter, switch three, control value of 98, preset. Going to ninety nine, enter, and then we go to five and to one hundred. Okay, so this one six, I'm actually going to leave uh, where it is at being that zero one value. Um, and I want to have across the different channels when I'm doing a, a live set with Ableton Live, I want to have one button at least that sort of does the same the same thing across all of the channels. Um, if I need a kill switch or something like that, I want to have that. And that's probably what I would use that for is just to kind of stop all the action happening at once, regardless of what channel I'm on. So I wanted to add also that we can do the same thing with the uh, with the control pedal. If you add a pedal in, uh, the expression pedal, uh, I just go to here. I've already messed with it a bit. So here, expression pedal, there. I'm going to change my CC value. And it's set automatically on 7 for Ableton. Uh, but with the preset that we used from D4, I can switch it down to, to 2, for example, and store that. So the other thing that's important to know is that if we go back here, we see these, these three dots, right? That means that everything that we've done has not been saved yet, okay? If I were to press this button to go up to a different preset, then I would lose the work that I've just programmed in here. So I need to go to uh, save, store, 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 okay? Now it should be saved for us. It means if I go up to A2, uh, A2 has not been programmed yet, so we still see 91, 92, 93, and so forth here. But I should be able to go back down. Um, for example, I changed this preset for the for the expression pedal. Right now, when I do that, it's at 7, right? When I go down to A1, it's on channel 2, CC2. Same here for uh, the presets for number 5, right? This is, we'd set it to 100. If I go up to uh, Ableton channel 2, it's at 95, just like on D4, okay? So I can go through and program each one of these using the same steps. Here, I left off at 100 on, um, on A1. This is 100. So when I start off with channel A2, and I'm programming these in, I'm going to start off at 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, and so forth and so on. And now I just show you how I've gone, th gone through and done uh, these channels from 96, 97, 98, 99, um, all the way through Ableton, this channel A2, A3, and A4. So by A4, I'm looking at 111, 112, 113, 114, and 115. And this key is still the same. Like I said, this this will probably set to a stop switch on... Um, on Ableton Live, just in case things are getting a bit bizarre, I can I can kind of kill everything. I do want to point out also that because um, I've copied this from from D4, the the D4 preset, still when I hit track, wherever I am, I get these still I, I get the same uh, values there filled in automatically for me. So even if I'm in A4, I can still sort of access my stop and my record and and the click and all that kind of stuff. Um, within any, any of these presets that I've also set up. So the only thing that's going to change with those is when I hit the preset button within A4, then I get these these six pedals that I can switch um, that, are, that are independent based on uh, which of the presets I'm going to be using. All right, so um, I hope that was helpful for everybody. Those of you who have a nectar who are getting your, your feet wet um, with, uh, with the nectar pacer, and, and trying to figure out how to get that to work with, with Ableton. Um, in the future videos, what I'd like to do is actually show this in a live set, um, how it is that I'm MIDI mapping the, the, 
the foot switches onto uh, onto the screen itself to uh, to see what that opens up for us. All right, y'all enjoy.